Welcome to the second of three introductory tutorials for the Forex System Selector. This tutorial will be covering diversification, which is the next fundamental concept that each FSS user should be familiar with in order to increase the probability of developing a successful portfolio. After sorting the systems in our first tutorial, we eliminated those that did not match our trading criteria and were left with a customized list to choose from for our portfolio. However, more often than not, traders will not want to incorporate every system that they have selected. So what can we do to decide which systems to use? One method that should be considered is diversification. Although there are a number of ways to diversify, we will be focusing on currency pair diversification in this tutorial. Let's assume that after sorting, we have selected five systems that match our trading criteria. Let's also assume that the performance results and strategies for these systems are similar enough that we can consider the differences to be insignificant. We are now left with only having to analyze the relationship that each of these currency pairs have to one another. We can do this by examining currency correlations. Two currency pairs are considered to be correlated if their correlation value is positive one or negative one, and not correlated if their correlation value is zero. FXCM's research department provides a list of currency correlation values updated on a monthly basis. We recommend using this information as it can often play a significant role in the potential success of your portfolio. Let's take a look at how the currency pairs that we have selected are correlated to each other and how this will affect which systems we want to use in our portfolio. We will begin by looking at the relationship between the euro dollar and the dollar Swiss. First, we will note that the currency correlation value for these pairs is negative 0.84 over the past 12 months. This is close to negative 1, which we now know represents a strong negative correlation. Looking at a chart that graphs both pairs together, we can clearly see the following relationship. As one pair goes up, the other pair goes down, and vice versa. Because these pairs are strongly correlated, it might make sense to only choose one of them for our portfolio. Let's keep the euro dollar system. Continuing with this idea, we will take a look at a second set of pairs from our example, the Kiwi dollar and the Aussie dollar. For the past 12 months, the currency correlation value for these two pairs has been 0.85. This value is close to one, which represents a strong correlation. So we will only use one of these two pairs, the Aussie dollar. Now we are left with the euro dollar, Aussie dollar, as well as the dollar yen. When we check the correlation value of the euro dollar and the dollar yen, we find that they have a very low correlation, a value of negative 0.29. The correlation value for the Aussie dollar and the dollar yen is 0.36, also a low correlation. Because of this, we will keep the dollar yen system. Finally, cross-checking the euro dollar and the Aussie dollar, we find that the correlation between these two is 0.53. They are neither strongly correlated nor strongly uncorrelated. Therefore, we will keep them both. We started with a group of five systems and eliminated two of those that had very strong correlations to other systems within our list. By doing this, we were attempting to minimize the potential drawdowns that our portfolio could experience. In order to clarify how strongly correlated currencies can magnify your potential losses, let's look at a specific example. In August of 2007, the subprime mortgage crisis began to unfold. At this time, market conditions were such that the U.S. dollar weakened against all major currencies. Dollar weakness was most pronounced against the euro, and we can clearly see this with the large run-up the euro dollar made from August to December of 2007. Knowing that the dollar Swiss has a strong negative correlation to the euro dollar, we can predict that the dollar Swiss also made a significant move during this time, but in the opposite direction. And in fact, it did. This is why currency pair diversification can be so important. Had the systems that you selected been on the wrong side of both of these significant moves, meaning one system was short euro dollar and another long dollar Swiss, your potential losses would have been magnified. Alternatively, had you only been exposed to one of these two currency pairs, you could have substantially limited your potential downside risk. One of the biggest mistakes that newer FSS traders make is relying solely on returns or the smoothness of an equity curve. 
keep in mind that past performance is not indicative of future results. Although hypothetical equity curves can be extremely beneficial in helping a trader determine how a system or group of systems would have performed in the past, they are not sufficient for representing what could or will happen in the future. Market conditions regularly change, and a solid equity curve today might not look as attractive in a week, in a month, or in a year. This very reason is why currency pair diversification is often critical to the potential success of your portfolio. For more information on additional ways to diversify your trading portfolio or the Forex system selector in general, please feel free to give us a call. FSS specialists are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To speak with an FSS specialist, call 1-212-201-7303 or email us at systemselector at fxcm.com.